Welcome back to the shop, my friends. Today we are looking at digital calipers and precision setup blocks. These tools come in handy um, quite a bit. Uh, and mostly what I use them for is setting up other tools um, and you know measuring my work, making sure my numbers on you know whatever it is that I'm trying to uh, work on is right, making sure I'm getting precise as I possibly can. Now I want to kind of measure um, measure the origin cal up to these twenty three dollar uh, set of Vinca calipers, which that's I can already point out a flaw to you guys uh, with these Vincas, which is when you have them turned off, if you just move the caliper, it automatically comes back on. Now. Let's get these unboxed and let's uh, kind of take a look at, you know, what these are good for and exactly why are they referred to as origin cal. So the reason for that is getting this opened and I'll go ahead and show you. Got your manual, uh, your certificate of calibration, which lets you know that it passed the uh, tolerance, which these did. So they're um, rated to uh, within one thousandth of an inch. Now, calipers are a precision tool, but there's a lot of variables that can get in the way, obviously, of them being um, precise, which I'll, I'll go over later in the video. Uh, but you also get an extra battery, which is nice. And this actually comes with the, uh, the 2032 battery, which is um, more widely available than what these come with, which is the old button battery, this, this little guy here. Yeah. So, so these are a lot, a lot harder to find than the 2032s. You can get the 2032s everywhere. You can even get them at, uh, like, uh, Walgreens or, you know, Rite Aid, whatever places like that. Um, now later in the video, I'm going to kind of compare these and I'm going to use these, uh, precision blocks. Now I know these are eye gauging, but they should be pretty close to dead on, um, but kind of see if one is more accurate than the other. Uh, but one cool feature about these eye gauging is, is they are, um, well, they're origin, which like the Mitutoyo, I think those were the first ones to come out with the origin cal, which means that these calipers always know where zero is, no matter what. Um, you zero it out, turn it off, turn it back on, mess with it, you know, and then I can go right back. Bam. Mess with it. If I turn it back on, it's always going to return to zero. Um, even after you zero it out, it's always going to return to zero, which is, which is really handy so you don't have to go back in like now and you know have to zero it back out so that's a really handy feature um with the origin cows let's just stick around I'm, we're, we're gonna compare these two so let's get right into it all right so let's take a look at the origin cow and the vinca and let's see what kind of reading we're, we get on uh, these setup blocks here. So this is a half inch, obviously, setup block. Uh, so let's let's measure it out real quick and let's see what kind of reading we get. So this is reading about 0.5, 10 thousandths of an inch off, which is not bad because I think these are spec to uh, one thou tolerance. Uh, and these are reading 0.5, 10 thou under. And uh, something else to be cautious of with uh, calipers is, is you can get an inaccurate reading just by the way you place the caliper on 
the uh, the block or whatever it is you're trying to attach it to. If it's slightly canted, like say if it's slightly canted, I can make it read, you know, 1.5 thou off. So you got to make sure that both of those jaws are completely flush with whatever it is that you're trying to measure. And you also want to measure as far back as the jaw. So see like right here, I'm getting a perfect reading, uh, 0.5. And also the pressure that you put on your thumb as well can have a uh, an impact on uh, on your reading as well. And there there can be play between the top of the jaw here all the way down here, and that's usually where that uh, one th one thousandth of an inch play comes into factor. Is whenever you're trying to measure something way down here, there can be a little bit of play. So it can be off by up to, you know, that one thousandth of an inch. So we're getting it right around 0.5. All right, now let's uh, let's take a look at this uh, three quarter inch setup block here. And we'll start with the $20 Vinca calipers. And it looks like this is reading Make sure we have it on there flat. Uh, I mean, pretty close to dead on, about five ten thousandths of an inch over. And let's look at the origin cam. Sure, I'm not twisted at all in there. And this looks like it's reading about one thou off. On this side, it looks like it's reading about. 0 0.7505. Let's try this again. And that is reading just a little under. No, that's dead on. That is reading dead on. So. Well, that's reading dead on too. So, I mean, just from observation, as far as accuracy goes, they're both in the same ballpark. Now, obviously these are gonna be made out of better material, and there's also a little conversion chart on the back of these, which tells you what the decimal uh, should be um, for your fractions which is extremely handy. It goes from 1 64th all the way down to, uh, well, one inch. Um, but it doesn't have fractional uh, as an option. It's just millimeter and uh, inches. Now, these here, uh, you have millimeter, fractions, and decimal. So you have three options on these. Now, Let's see, these definitely feel smoother. Um, and, and I would assume they're made out of better quality. Now, another good feature about these is, is they are um, IP54 rated. Um, and if you look at the battery slot here, let me turn these, turn this off. I think it has like a little rubber thing here. Yeah, it's got like a little rubber piece that protects the battery from dust or moisture or whatever. And this has no such thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it, overall, the um, eye gauge will probably last you a little longer, but as far as accuracy goes, I mean, even cheap calipers are accurate. So if you're really wanting to save some money on calipers, I mean, do you really need to buy a $100 pair? Um, maybe not. 
but you guys let me know. Um, you know, let me know in the comments what you all think. Do you uh, just go with the cheap calipers? Do you buy expensive calipers? And tell me why uh, if you buy one or the other. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, uh, I would definitely appreciate a like and a subscribe. You know, I'm not going to be one of those guys that's telling you to subscribe all throughout the video. I figure if you like the content enough and you want to see more videos, you'll subscribe. Um, and be on the lookout for some more Knipex videos. Um, I have quite a few more Knipex tools to show you guys. And eventually I'll do like a, like a whole collection video where, you know, I show all the Knipex tools and stuff. But uh, until next time, see y'all later. Peace.